LED lighting is different than incandescent lighting in many ways and has some incredible advantages, but also some important disadvantages to consider when working in theater. Let's start with the classic first. Incandescent lights are often what we think of when we think of traditional lighting on stage, or even traditional lighting in the home. Incandescent lights have many advantages, like they create warm glow on the skin, can be reliably dimmed from off to on and back again without flickering, and are relatively easy to find, which can make them affordable for that reason. On the other hand, incandescent lights burn way hotter than LED lights, and can often raise the temperature on stage and in your audience when used in excess. Theatrical lights specifically also use lots of power to do that, and so they are far from green efficient. So the brighter the incandescent light, the more energy used, the hotter it burns, which is all important to consider when you're working on a budget. LEDs, on the other hand, use far less electricity and burn far cooler than their incandescent friends. LEDs can also be incredibly bright, but not from burning massive amounts of energy, but by simply multiplying the number of low power diodes, or the LED bulbs, and still pull far less energy than an incandescent. In comparison to a standard 100 watt bulb, theatrical incandescents often pull 500 to 1000 watts of power, and sometimes even up to 2000 watts of power, which is like 20 100 watt light bulbs all on at once. On the other hand, to get a similar brightness of a 100 watt bulb, LEDs often use maybe 15 or 25 watts of power to get that same 100 watt brightness. So basically, LEDs burn far cooler and use far less power, but can easily match an incandescent's brightness. Finally, colors. The most basic LEDs come with red, blue, and green diodes that can be used to mix any color of the rainbow, supposedly. Higher end lights include white light and amber and more for bonus color mixing, but more on that soon. So what's the downside to LEDs? Well, since LEDs burn at a different temperature than incandescents, the quality of light they produce is often awkward or uncomfortable on human skin. I've personally never figured out exactly why this is, but the unnatural quality of light looks just that on human skin, unnatural. Another major issue, especially with inexpensive LEDs, is popping on. Because they require so little power to use, often when trying to fade the light from the off position to the on position, LEDs will pop on. This little pop is the amount of light created by the absolute lowest amount of energy that your supply will give and can be hard to avoid, and can ruin a slow fade on stage. The main tip I can give you that has served me well over the years is to use incandescent light for face light or the light that is used to illuminate the actors from the audience's perspective, and then use LEDs for back or side or top light to add a colorful glow or rim light to the characters on stage. The LED rim light becomes incredibly versatile and helps create dynamic looks, while the incandescent gives us the warmth that radiates from the human skin naturally and allows us the chance to see the figures that we have carved out in color.